stand by me only if I'm right. I come out of triple darkness just to see the light. If I say it once, I guarantee I say it twice. If they knew me, I ain't going out without a fight. In my dreams, I'm a killer, but for God, man. Try to play it cool, but it's getting hard, man. Rolling with the real and death to all the frauds, man. Not too many on me, yeah, it's kinda hard, man. In my room, sitting in my room. Know they waiting on me, and I'm coming soon. Never been a sell, I've never been a coon. Y'all be on the camera acting. I'ma show them how I drew it. You can't control the variables. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like I want them in that place where the truth is the truth, and you can live with it because you know the universal flow, and you know God's order. So you know that even if you got pain, that is difficulty after ease, and ease after difficulty. So no need to be secret about nothing because God gonna reveal it all anyway. Hey, hey, yeah. hey listen, hey, man, we got a, a deep topic today. I think it's a deep topic. It is. A, it's, it's y'all might not want to even talk about this topic, but we we gonna do it because oh. it is a problem in our community, and I want to see how y'all handled it or are handling it in your family. I was inspired to think about this topic because uh, JG over here. Uh, was sharing some feedback that he got on a previous episode from one of our listeners or viewers uh, who was in a situation with his family. I don't even need to talk about the details, but to say the individual found out something that they were extremely shocked about, that's family business. Mm. Right? The topic is family secrets. And ain't nobody got more family secrets than black folks. <laughs> far as I know, I, I guess I wouldn't know because I'm just black, but I know we uh, black folk, <laughs> boy, we probably got some of the best ones wrong. Wow. And, um, and what I mean by getting into this topic, man, is uh, sometimes children are learning things about their family, very important, sensitive matters from people other than the people that probably should have told it. Mm. From people outside the family. Right. And then, so when you think about the psychology uh, of that, if I'm a child and I learn something about a family member and I have to interact with this person and I don't learn it from my parents, <clears throat> who are the people I trust the most on this planet for my safety, serious security and protection, and I know they didn't tell me, and they know, and I begin to rationalize the world on my own, what message do we send when the information is of a sensitive nature that's really toxic or not really good news that you probably should have helped the child process? <clears throat> I know that's a lot of rambling, but I'm trying to make sure I square it because it's a tough thing to talk about. And, and, and we're not here to divulge family secrets. No, not at all. Right. It's really like the it's, idea it's, of it, yeah. It's talking about what it means when this thing exists within a family. Exactly. And the impact it has on the family. Exactly. Exactly. That's what that's what we're here to talk exactly. about. Um now and, we can that being said, there are generic scenarios we could we might end up running yeah, into. Yeah, of course. You know, he ain't good. really your daddy. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? That's the most basic <laughs> so one. Obviously, obviously. Mom, you know, I, baby, daddy, maybe. That's the most common one. Well, yeah. well listen, you can start. Yeah, that's the, that's most, the whole, that's the most that common, could be, yeah. we could talk about that for six hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, mama, you know, I'm, y'all you know, know I'm a big Eric Thomas fan. And one of the things that he openly talks about um, is how his mother lied to him about who his father was. Okay. And not necessarily lied about who his father was, just didn't tell him that the man who was raising him wasn't his father. You know, and a he half said- truth. Yeah, and he said it was always obvious. He like, well, why I got three grandmas? You know what I mean? But yeah, like yeah. he had never <laughs> put, put it, it together. together. Right, right. But the impact it had on him, yeah. as he tells it, in terms of, you know, when he's a, a early teen and, and, and okay, mom, is, is he my dad? And he always say, you know, I'm five, seven and, and stepdaddy six, eight. 
he ain't, everybody in the neighborhood telling me he ain't my daddy. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like when I finally asked my mom, it's like, yo, the woman I love and trust the most has lied to me. Right. And what that does, and the next thing you know, he don't want to be at home. He looking at dude like, you ain't my daddy. You don't tell me what to do. And next thing you know, he's homeless. Well, well, I, all right, all right. Well, you know, since you're telling E.T. story. Yeah, that's how, e, did he e. Find, story. how did he find out? What? Can you share that? Or? People was just like telling him. Like you just them. said, oh, everybody never been there. Yeah. Daddy, he's six, seven, you five, one. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. And so, you know, My and like you Rick said, daddy. he had. I mean, you know, in the neighborhood. You know, like, like he talked about like, yo, I got three grandmas. Like, but he never like, why I got three? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had three grandmas, and I only no, know yeah, one but side the, of Yeah, but it was, it was, yeah, it was three you know, different. You know what I mean? You had and three so, generations. Yeah, hey, I had two great grandmas yeah, yeah, and my grandma. Yeah. All of my so, mother's. So I think um one, when when those things happen and when those things exist in, within families, is it's often a trauma that people honestly just don't know how to handle, don't know how to process through it, don't don't even know what to say about it. And so then it becomes this thing that nobody just, people just don't talk about, Man. you know? And, and depending on who that thing is about, you know, it can be extremely damaging. Um, that's why one of the things that, you know, I'm always, I remember one time I was sitting, we were sitting at home and I was like, Darius, what if, um, you know, you, you you was to find out something that was, you know, completely, you know, unanticipated. You mean about uh, his other brothers? Yeah, I was talking to Darius. He was like, what y'all about to tell me you ain't my daddy or something? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he just said it. You about to tell me? And he's like, nah, man. I, we, 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 if we plan it out hypothetically, because anybody can get some information and all of a sudden it turned their world upside down. But 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 whenever you get this information, the thing I always want people to know is you are who you are. And your mama's secret or your aunt's secret or grandmama's secret, that doesn't have to impact you in, in a negative way. Right. If you There's get this a, new yeah, information. Not a reflection of you. Yeah, it's no reflection be. of you whatsoever. And so you don't have to all of a sudden take on the 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 burden, the scarlet letter. Uh, of the family or whatever it may be. You know, hey, that's what they did. That's what they chose not to handle. You know, they, that, they didn't know how to handle it. And so they didn't say anything. And so I just think, you know, it doesn't have to be as traumatic. And I think if people would just, listen, everybody got something. Everybody got yeah. something. You know, and people just need to stop acting like, um, you know, we got it all together and all that stuff. You know, you know and it's stuff I don't want. I wouldn't tell because it ain't my stuff to tell. Right. You know. You know. You know. Um, we <clears throat> well, on the episode we did about the uh, generational curses. Yeah. This is what we talking about. Yeah. Because what we called it, and we we called it, we ended up calling it pathologies, right? And then at some point, I think we evolved to just saying. Some of the stuff we call in pathologies is just us running from bad behavior and some of the decisions we make in, in the now, right? And so when I think about generational curses and I think about family secret, that's really a lot of the situations we talking about when we, instead of an addiction or something like that, right? And the, some of that is. Yeah. We ain't, ain't nobody, ain't no grandma's an alcoholic. Right. Or whatever, you know. But my, my point about this is, we have a problem hearing, receiving the truth, period. Right. When it comes to secrets, when it comes to everything. I, I, to your point, you said we all got something. I don't understand why. I don't know why we can't hear the truth. That we can't hear, like, if uncle, like you said in the last episode, man, and it was a clip I was that we put out, and I was like, "Yo, I don't know why it resonated with me." You was like, "Man, we all of us are sitting here." Um, I'm thinking about. I'm trying to remember which. I think it was the love language one. Um, but we we try to act like 
Our stuff don't stink. We're not going to have no pain. It, it, it evades me right now. But in the, in the summary, I'm going to say this. Accept the truth. It's ugly. It's nasty. Don't assume children not going to find it out because they are. And if you tell them in advance, you can help them understand it better than if you lied and took away from who they thought you were. It's painful. It is. Don't, but, don't but, nobody want to. But you hear the you if you hear. <laughs> don't nobody want to face it. It was painful to get here. Yeah, but it, it's uncomfortable. Nobody it want to sit in that. And so you it know is. what? I, I, so I avoid sitting in it to talk about somebody else's mess because I don't want to deal with my mess. Yeah. You know? and then so, when your child, then when that, and I hear you speaking for them. Right, right, right. And then right. when that child get their suitcase and leave because he think you a liar, mm -hmm. then what does that feel like? You know, to they, that parent, they, they deal with that 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 bridge they, they, when they, they come. run the cycle again, <laughs> right? Yep. Running from mm -hmm. it, and yeah. that's that's the realness of it. Yeah, <clears throat> you what's, know what's crazy on uh, in our community, some things that don't really need to be secrets be yeah. secrets though. Oh, like somebody been being ill or sick with cancer or something or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> they I don't know yeah. why they keep those things from the family like that till it's the time that you know. They're about to either go or whatever the case, right? Uh, something like that, or a uh, or I say, for instance, with my you know, I, I, I have no problem sharing this with people, but my sister, you know, and my father, you know, having a daughter aside from me and my uh, younger brother, and actually, she's in between us both. So it was like for me to find out I have a sister. In my young adult life, it's like, yo, why is this, has this been a secret, so to speak? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, at the time, I, I'm not even sure uh, when, it, as far as him revealing, JG, well, I, I was, was thinking, dad married? Huh, say again? He wasn't married to Debbie when he told me that, right? Uh... I cannot confirm no that. <laughs> but no, but I don't recall. I but I, we, but the time of it, and I and I, I need to ask my man Jeremy, but because he he would know too. I, and I believe Dad came to him before me. However, it was like, yo, the, the why that the, the the reason it shouldn't be is because hey, I don't I wouldn't want to be dating trying to or holler at my sister. Although I think we're about seven, what seven years or so different. You know, I'm older than she, but it's like. Why the, certain things that shouldn't be kept a secret kept secret, and the secrets that we have, the words like said, they, pride it's, and it's shame like, jump out at me. It's like shit. We should just. Sh I think that's again, what again, I know, I know, and about. I know the things that you are painful. You were talking about parents doing stuff because they we were talking about they used to about the embarrassing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. you you were talking about how I'm never embarrassed about something my family does. Yeah, that's what I that's what I missed. Yeah, and I was getting that because you. You know the truth. You're okay with the truth. Yeah. And you don't let that truth define you or the rest of your family. Right. Absolutely. Or that person. Absolutely. But it's not, always, see, but not everyone. So and not everybody mean? can have that mindset though. Like, oh, I know, but I that's what I was. Yeah. I was getting at. Like, that's where we gotta be with it. You right. know what I'm saying? True. Yeah. True. Yeah. No, that's yeah. that's that's real. True. I, I think another thing when James was talking about some things that don't need to be a secret, um, as far as like medical conditions. Now, I'm I'm seeing both sides of it, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One thing about if you tell, and we know how our black community is, right? You tell somebody, "Hey, I got cancer." Immediately, they think in death sentence because right. that's what somebody they know they had that particular <clears throat> cancer happen, and then they spread it. So a lot of times. You may not want to reveal this information because you don't want them to put a, a death ticket on your head. And so you need you might need to go in and and hide out and pray and, and and seek understanding and and get clarification and, and all this with, 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 with your spiritual uh whatever your spiritual side is. And you don't want to share it with somebody. Now, I understand the flip side. The first thing happened when you go to the hospital and, and you're not feeling good. They said, well, the cancer running in your family. 
And so you said, well, I don't know. Ain't nobody told me nothing. It might be. <laughs> Man, and let me so, tell you something. <laughs> ain't no, there ain't no more place you know that their family secret existed when the doctor asked black folks a question. <laughs> 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 yeah. Man, I don't know. Yeah. I might we be. Don't know we don't know. Yeah, yeah. If it's so, ain't nobody told me. Yeah. And so those those are the type of things that. But can I ask you a question though? To your point, like I get like if somebody gets cancer and they say, you know, I want to isolate and retreat and do all of that. But there's also power in the prayer of other people praying for you. That if you do do that, you block. Right, but, like you block the power of prayer. Of the community of the faithful praying for you. And I get it. I was more so on James tip where he was like, um, why are you keeping that from the family? I, he made a distinction between what? that and the general public, but I know you about to say too, somebody in your family gonna tell everybody. But but but, but now, now, now at the same time I hear exactly what you're saying, but maybe may, maybe you need to tell the people that you think is gonna is gonna pray for you instead of the ones that's sitting around gossiping and murmur, murmuring oh, yeah. about what's going on. Because, I, I, because, because hey, you know, in your spiritual walk, you could say, hey man, these people running me in the ground. I get, I, I think, um, I think the point of um, authenticity and the point of self-love and self-knowledge that I want my sons to get to is a place where they just, they can receive the truth and hear it, and they just don't care what anybody else thinks about it or them. Or the, or the or so to my point where if somebody yeah. else, if, I got, if they got cancer and somebody knows, that's their battle with God. My battle is to pray to God to heal me. I, that ain't even my battle with what they do with the information. And in the same way with the charity we talked about, you can't control the variables. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like I want them in that place where the truth is the truth and you can live with it because you know the universal flow and you know God's order. So you know that even if you got pain, that is difficulty at the ease and ease at the difficulty. So no need to be secret about nothing because God going to reveal it all anyway at some point. Right. You know, I, I mean, you know, but I know it's tough on a daily day to day. And I don't, and when I said I hope they get to that place, I'm not saying Corey's at that place. You see what I'm saying? I said I want them to get to that place. Yeah. Because I'm growing to try to be there myself because I know, now we know, because we grew up, I didn't grow up, they didn't grow up like I did with the benefit of what God blessed us to learn as young men to guide me as a young father and a young man. <laughs> so that I can grow into the mental space I'm in now, right? We got half of the bull crap. They didn't get half of the bull crap. So with me, I'm still trying to purge out the secret culture out of my life. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because we know a lot of secrets about our families. Right, right. And people that we were in a culture where you don't say nothing. And so for us, we still, as a man, I'm still in a place sometimes where I'm like, it is, it's not secrets. And I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. I hold information for no reason sometimes. Do y'all understand what I'm getting at? It's not a secret. It's not hurting anyone. Is it because? But it in my mind, I don't need to tell you because I'm just being confidential. And sometimes it grows out of that secret because you're being, keep yourself in confidence for no reason. If, if that makes sense, when it's not appropriate, not even. A it's not even deal. a yeah. thing. It's yeah, not a. Yeah, it's yeah. not even a thing. But I'm like, I'm not. It's like if somebody were to ask me, I'm like, it would be innocuous for me to tell them it and harmful. But I'm like, they don't necessarily need to know all that. Yeah. It's not gonna hold no. Value. Do you understand what I'm saying? What they gonna I guess do I could it? explain What's what I, my question, what I posed as to why families do that, why they yeah. certain things that don't need to be secret. But no, yeah, I, I yeah. Some things, no, I, I, like uh, I'm telling Terrell Owens' story, right? And he and he grew up in the country, and uh, when he got older, he started liking the girl across the road from directly across the street, road, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, when he started liking that girl, everybody's no, 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 you can't like that girl. You know, they was adamant. And um, he didn't realize that was his sister, mm. right? And so not only is his sister, so the pain that they were hiding, that's his sister 
from this affair across the street, across the street, right? And she grew up there, but this family's still together. So how it takes a very strong woman, strong relationship, strong man to, to, to stick together first and foremost. And secondly, to stick together and say, hey, you his daughter, come on, be part of the family too. You know what I mean? Right. And so there's levels to it, man. And, and maybe in the city you can, there's secrets everywhere, right? But when it's, when it's in the country, it's really- What well, you would say, maybe in the city? You can, you can, it's the secrets, it's the same. But you can mingle around, you less likely. I was gonna say less likely, but I guess it can still happen, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can run across somebody that's your cousin and you didn't even know that was your cousin. And I'm like, what? How it ain't none of my, oh, that had, almost was happening to me. That's your cousin, ain't none of I my met, cousin. I, I met some folks uh, a few weeks <laughs> ago yeah, um, that Outside, it was yeah. two women that got three children by the same man. And they didn't know each other before that, but now because all the children get together, they all get together and they friends. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. You know, but but yeah. up until twenty years ago, it was a bunch of secrets going on. And, and it was like a, people just meeting yeah. each other now as a, as adults, you know. And it was interesting. I don't know. I haven't heard the whole ET story, but when I hear that, I think of a guy that stepped up and raised a child that wasn't his, right? Almost like adopting somebody. They just didn't tell him. So what, what do you tell that? To the child at eight years old, at ten, at but fifteen. He, but he asked his mom directly. No, but I, I don't is know. that like, she never? He never asked her, and she lied. When he finally asked her, she told him the truth. So we thinking, okay. you know, like so. To your yeah. point, do you tell him at seven? Do yeah. you tell him at nah, eight? No, but you, you said you didn't say she. You said she didn't tell him all of the truth. That's what you said about. <clears throat> Well, she she never she never said anything about it. Oh, I thought you said he asked. Okay. okay. Yeah, she she never said okay, anything okay. about it. And then when he asked her, she was like, oh, "Yeah, okay, that's gotcha, that's gotcha. not." Oh, it was somebody else that had told him. Yeah, not yeah, his mom. somebody yeah, else. Yeah, he had found yeah, out so about somebody else. So it it really trade by, by his mom. It it really is. Think about like when is it appropriate to keep a seat? <laughs> if I had a, if I was adopted, right. if I had a, if I had an adopted child. I would tell them as soon as they were old, old enough to understand. Five. Yeah. yeah. I would really? tell them. Kindergarten. When they Hold start on, coming home and talking about, when they start that understanding that somebody had a baby and they ask me, was I born at the hospital with y'all? That's mm. the first lie you tell if you tell them yes. Right. And kids ask innocent questions like the, that. The, 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 okay, so that's the answer right there. The moment you have to tell the first lie, that's the time to tell it. Yeah. I couldn't imagine though telling that little four and a half year old boy. Why? I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of why, why a child would ask that kind of question. But what? Why they, a child they, would ask that? What? They inquisitive. Man, kid, they, come they, on, bro. Yeah, come home. They ask you. They, they gonna ask that. They gonna. Yeah. They, something gonna come out. They gonna that, ask that, that. That brings up whether or not you were their actual birth parents. Because they curious. We we we're telling stories <laughs> at school. They want to tell when it happened when you uh, when I you know. I, I, you I, gotta yeah. make it up. Hey, well, well, I tell mine. I tell mine. My mother hid that mother hid my uh, her whole pregnancy with me. Didn't nobody know until she gave birth, right? And then the funny part, my uncles they like my brothers. You know, they seven and nine years older, and uh, they brought me home. And it was like, yeah, your sister done adopted a baby. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they was going to school saying my sister adopted a baby. There ain't no damn adoption. That's your sister, baby. <laughs> That's your nephew. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mm. Wow! So, yeah, I was saying they didn't so, even know. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. So they clam, now, they clam me to this day. That's crazy. But like you all, you always knew that story. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. was would have that would have you know would have come to you at a later time, you know? How would right, that right. That's that's true because I don't know the. I, I can't recall. The you point never. Where I knew know, she hid the pregnancy. Yeah, you never. Time. I never knew that. Didn't not know the story. Right, 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 right. You know. But why? Why? Where do people? Why do y'all think people that adopt children don't tell them they adopt them? Cause man, y'all were so mean back in the days and teasing people and mean and stuff like that. <laughs> I think nah, it's I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> heard I'm thinking about oh, that. Adopted. Right, right. <laughs> Ain't nobody teasing nobody that adopted. Right. They had no daddy. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> I think I think a, a, I think a lot of <laughs> right. they one up on you. <laughs> 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 Hey, love. I think I think um I think the answer to that question is um 
I guess each is own, but you know, a, a lot of times they want to feel as as natural as possible, like they the birth parent, and they want to be able to be able to bring you, bring you up and, and as if you were their birth child. I think that has a a lot to do with it. And but see, I, that's when we say as if, and they want to feel like that's the lie people buying into. Right. That ain't what it is. What, because I think you could create an environment and say to that child, you know what? We didn't bring you home. Some other parents God used to bring you here and they weren't able to take care of you. So now you're yeah, you ours you here. and we got this loving family and you still got a mom out there somewhere that you might meet one day. But right now, this is what we got. And you, that's the narrative. That's the I don't story. see why that's hard. Right. And, but, but, and, 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 and the kid going to be like, okay. Uh, okay. And, and, and what you mean? <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. What he add, back to his question, at what age is that, though? Or when? Whenever they need to know. The moment you need to tell a lie. Yeah. Oh. That's the age. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the that, moment you have to tell the first it's, lie, it's, that's it's when a, you tell. There's a lot of people okay. that do that. Okay. It is. A whole lot. That's the Most people that's adopted do that. And you should. You know what I'm saying? Most people that's adopted don't tell them. How many stories we hear about? But it's some out there that we. Out. Then they go on a mad <laughs> rant looking yeah. for their family, yeah. and it's traumatic, man. It's it's crazy. I think I think a lot of times people don't share stuff like that because they feel like a rejection. They feel like they they may become rejected, or the parent, you know, like like for real, the parents really gotta check themselves yeah. because. They feel like, oh, if once you know that's your parent, you're going to turn you your back on. Home. Yeah, exactly. And that's then, just then, nonsense. Then did you adopt them for you or for them? Right. Exactly. Well, that's the question. Or, or maybe they did. If you did adopt it for them. You, you at the birthday party, oh, that's my, oh, yeah, he adopted. No, that's my son. That's Correct. my daughter. Oh, but you know, I mean, what you mean? Why would you have to say they adopted well, I'm, the I'm saying. Party? No, I'm, yeah, I'm saying he adopted. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. We, we, this, and, we adopted, boy. Yeah, he's real. <laughs> exactly. Why would we, <laughs> we? We won't. We shouldn't. And that's why I was just saying, mm -hmm. like, again, I don't know. I'm, and again, I just got the impression of a little four and a half year old that just walked out of here. Though. That's yeah. What was the name? Well, what you? What would you say? Theo. Yeah, you said yeah, why was somebody telling Theo. you? That boy wasn't four, man. He said he was four and a oh, half. Oh, he four and a half? He, yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, he turned around when you called him. And was yeah, he, he yeah, was shocked, yeah. too. Now, if he, you, you can't see him saying, Mommy, when I was at the hospital, did I have a, 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 a? I don't know what the question is. Hey, hey, look. And, he, and she wasn't there, though, John. Yeah, he got some questions that I can't ask because he got a name. You know what I mean? So I, 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 no, but that's the whole no. First of all, let's be <laughs> hey, clear. Well. That, that's not his story, though. <laughs> that's we, we, you know, that's not his story. We it's just the, he just seen a little kid, so yeah. we want to be clear about that. Oh yeah, but for at, sure. But at the same time, he was thinking most, about the age, right? As right. An example. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, we, yeah. we were more so. I know. I I wanted to be clear because you started going into some stuff. Yeah, and, and he but, might be watching. We right. just met him, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> but 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 you look at a. Most of the time, I think that at four years old, you can remember some stuff if it if it's if it has a huge impact. Mm -hmm. Most most of the time, you can remember. <clears throat> I think a good age to remember is five years old. I think that's a good age. Kindergarten. Yeah, I think that's that's the good age to because I remember a lot at five. You be surprised. Like, now let me say this: before you can't judge that based on yourself. Because I meet so many people that be like, they can't remember stuff at seven. Wow. I'm serious. It just depends. Like now, for me, when you say four, I can remember a whole bunch of stuff from four. Oh, yeah? Yes. Me and James can both remember in the same <laughs> kindergarten classroom <laughs> stuff that was said. Yeah, I was four? I was four. We was five. We was four. I was five. He had just turned five. <laughs> Mr. Will yeah. Gorecki. Mr. Will and, Gorecki? Yeah, he remember the teacher's name. We was talking about it. We was talking yeah, about those names. Like those names you just you know, you, you just don't yeah. forget like that. And it was weird. But, but what I'm saying is, and now I can tell you just being like, what a, a five-year-old that can read, for example, mm -hmm. just think about that. A five-year-old that can read uh, an equivalent story for their age group or whatever, right? right? Man, they're smart, bro. Absolutely. But I get, and, and so since children develop, I ain't gonna put no age on it. That's why I like, why Key and I keep saying, yeah. 
when the lie got to be told that's is when, when they need to know. Right. Because that's when they're selling you. They don't ask you something where they need to know. Or something and, and, might and, happen and, and, where somebody tell them and they say, he said I ain't my dad. Is that true? It, and and that's, that's, the why, that's why these secrets develop over time because the first lie was told. Yeah. The first lie and was you told. Keep telling it. And then you gotta tell it again yeah. and again and yeah. again and again. And then all of a sudden, I don't wanna be seen as the bad guy. I don't wanna be looked at a certain way. And now everybody on pins and needles when well, Uncle So and So get drunk at the reunion, cause he about to tell everything. <laughs> Blessings. To all of our businesses who are interested in advertising, we have great affordable rates. And if you'd like to advertise on our B2M Crew podcast, please reach out to us at B2Mcrew5 at gmail.com. So let me ask you this question. Um, let me ask this question. If 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 the child if the child asks a question, you, you may not be fully prepared to go in depth with it. Is that a problem? You don't have to. Okay. But because they're going to keep question. asking questions. You know why? You, then that's you how deep why? you go. That's why, that's why I keep saying it's the truth. You know what? I'm not ready to talk to you about that right now, but I will talk to you about it when I'm ready. I need to think about that a little more about how I want to say it to you. Right. That's the truth. Right. And People can live with the truth, man. <clears throat> And they, but and they could be considered a cop out too. Oh, what could be considered a cop out? But see, if you see, I get back to this. I got to be confident and love myself up to know I can't do nothing with how you feel about me telling the truth. No, I'm just saying, I'm like, like, man, no, I, so you I, know what I'm saying? I man, I've been five years and I keep asking you, you ain't told me. Oh, no, I ain't talking about that. That's not that. I thought you were talking about in the moment somebody wasn't ready to go real. I, I understand, excuse me, I understand uh -huh. that. But I'm saying, like, if somebody keep putting it off, like then what? Then they're not invested in telling the truth. Okay. Let I, me, I, let, I think I think there's the perfect place for you know I I I would always share this with my boys too, is that the truth is never inappropriate, but the truth without compassion is cruelty. Mm -hmm. And many times when yeah, well. you have to tell a family secret or confide and, and, and reveal a truth that's out there. People don't know how to do it because they don't know how to do it with compassion. And if they believe that, that I can tell the truth, I just have to do it with a level of compassion. When I tell it, that's, that's the answer right there for me. You know, Hey, you know what? This is the truth, but that's okay. You know what I mean? Whatever, however you need to explain it, you can explain it that way. Give them the truth, but always make sure you give it with a level of compassion when you're Not revealing cool. a truth. Part B. Part B. Part B. You have compassion because the truth, like as you said, the truth, people do this if the truth is told in the wrong spirit. Right, they put their finger in their ears because truth is not meant, <clears throat> if it's God's word and the spirit, it's not meant to be wicked and yielded against somebody. But what hot part B is, when you don't tell the truth at the first opportunity, you create the environment for the truth to come out without compassion from somebody else. Right, exactly. So you're saying control, like control. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's, when like the, that. that's when the drunk uncle burned that, that, out exactly. with right. no compassion. Exactly, right. you, you allowed it to come out with no compassion because you avoided telling the truth. Yeah. You let somebody else control the narrative. And with our children, don't we want to control the narrative? Absolutely. We should, you know? Absolutely. No, nah, go ahead. Would you give me a sentence? Oh, yeah, nah, I thought nah, you was about nah. to say, yeah, I thought you was about to say something. Oh, no, nah, man, I just think, I just think that, that, that that's, that's one of those things, man, where all the time, man, people, people start to treat people differently. People interact with people differently. People, um, you know, they, they, man, dog, nothing worse for a family member for, is because it's different types of secrets. Some secret, only one person know. Some secret. <laughs> if I know myself for you. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Everybody in the house know, but, but you. You the secret. Yeah, you the secret. 
<laughs> those type of secrets yeah. have a tremendous <clears throat> ability to do damage. They think they cousins, but they brothers. Yeah, everybody know but you. And I, I just think, man, we just we just gotta but what we secrets gotta stop are okay? that. What secrets are okay? And for example, if they were okay, I'm a father. I'm a that. father. Mm -hmm. I got something going on that's a threat to my family. Right? In order to manage the threat, I need them to remain calm and not be alarmed. I'm keeping a secret in order to protect them because I'm not sure they're going to be, I can handle it if I can keep them Mellow, calm. calm. Well, I but they are in danger and they don't know it. Okay, and then when you say danger, you're talking about a, a real physical danger. Or you're talking about not necessarily. danger the family I can, might I can give you an example of what you might be talking okay. about. I had a, a friend of mine who was, whose, whose family was constantly under uh, death threats okay. because of their political position. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. You don't want to, all right, y'all, here go the last letter from the last racist. And you yeah, read it yeah. to the five-year-old kids. <laughs> hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Everybody don't need to know all that. Yeah, right, right. Everybody right. don't need to know all of that. Right. We, we, we under some. And your wife might not need to know that somebody said they going to kill you tomorrow. Right. Not every time. I mean, right, right. That's yeah, what I'm saying. So not every time, but that's, that's a secret. Not. Yeah, that, and that's a tremendous burden yeah. that 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 is existing within that family, and and that was that was. Am I being hypocritical when through. I say you should tell the truth, regardless? Well, but see, ain't nobody asked you. Hey, did somebody say they were gonna kill you this week? You know what I mean? You ain't, I, like I said, the time to tell is when. No, but she might say it's the question. What did he they say, gonna say baby? Oh, what'd he say? On that last call. What'd he, what'd he, what'd he say? <laughs> what'd he say right. before he hung up? Oh, nothing. Well, I guess in, in essence, it's, it's like telling enough of the truth to, uh, you know what I mean, to where... See, that's a half truth, brother. No, 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 no. But truth like, in piecemeal with regards to say, okay... We're going to have with, to step up our with security. The, with the exam yeah, with the example of that. Yo, they're threatening my life. You know, I've received death threats. So that's part of the truth. He didn't get into the details how they threatened him, who it was that threatened him, but they at least have that much of the secret that they know, so that if something tragic was to happen, they wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't feel a certain way. They know like, she'd be like, well, I didn't even but know. James. I didn't even know his life was in danger. You didn't tell me he sent you a picture of me <laughs> in my jogging trail. <laughs> 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah. But, nah. you know, but so real, I think yeah. there's ways, of course, just by kind of, you know, I wouldn't say kill him softly, but you know what I mean? Just, we're just easing them into, you know, uh, the full truth. And uh, I'm, I'm almost I'm venture say to this. say, man, that uh, enough for them. You know, to, we you talk know. about technology, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna venture to say that you got to use technology sometimes in life. Hey, Musa, did I'm, you I'm know gonna, what I'm saying? Like, like, explain that. Come on, are you serious? I'm for the camera, not terror. for me. <laughs> so, trick the, the whole like concept of technology is in. Uh, Nation of Islam yes, theology, wisdom, yes, sir. and it refers to Moses being sent to the caves of Europe in order to civilize them, and he you and to teach them uh, skills in order to use against the original people right. to master them for a time period right. at God's command. So, <clears throat> so he used trick knowledge. He used some of the righteousness. And some of the devil's tricks in order to achieve an end that was ultimately a righteous end in the grand scheme of things. So that's the story. So when I say that, I'm wondering sometimes in life, like in a situation where, yeah, uh, I had to lie to you right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think in Washington. I mean, you know, I, don't, yeah, I, mean, I mean, you see I, what I'm saying? I can't think of an example, but even if you're dealing with our kids and they think they can't do something, sometimes you got to like. I know you, you can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah, you yeah. can do it, but I gotta. I can't tell them what's gonna happen, but I, you know. But you gotta. I'm glad you put confidence. in that content because I don't yeah. want nobody to think I'm a gangster up here talking about nobody chasing me like that. Because it's mm -hmm. rare everyday situations that I think that principle applies to, very simply in terms of danger to my family could be financial danger. It could right. be, you know what I'm saying? It could right, be right, um, right. a perceived like I'm worried about something that I found out about one of my children that I got on a report 
or an exam from a therapist. I'm not going to tell him you borderline. I mean, and that didn't happen to me, but I'm just right, saying, right, right, like, right. it's things you withholding. It's almost like, is it a secret or withholding information <clears throat> from someone that's not ready for it? And that's why the right. people that's telling the other secrets justify it, though, right? Right? Absolutely. It's, 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 a, it's a thin, fine line. Yeah. I think back. I, I think back to to the the situ, situation of the death threats. Uh -huh. um, the the you know, was talking about um, an example he gave of somebody he knew. I think one of those things, man. You you might you might tell tell your wife, hey, you know, we receiving death threats or whatever. But after I just said that, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep on reminding her. And and and, and then what happens is. Women, women naturally like a level of security. So here you are. You, you done mentally got your mind in a certain place. <laughs> I know where you're going. You, and mentally, you got your mind in a certain place. And then you got your spouse constantly asking you. And that might sh strike a level of fear to come in you. And you don't need that at the time. No, but what about this, though? Well, since you said we got death threat. I went on and took that other lock down, <laughs> and, and, and I was gonna check with you on that, and, and that ain't the lock you needed any broken. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, so it's like they gonna try to help. I right, mean, right, just right, naturally, right, right, right. naturally because they love, they gonna yeah. try to help. <laughs> yeah, so you know, you know, that's, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So discernment is key. Discernment. It is. It's a, it's a delicate balance, but I do think, especially when it comes to, <clears throat> well, one thing we can make clear though, when it comes to children and dealing with stuff that's ultimately affecting children, that's a different conversation about so-called secrets than some of this other stuff and, we talking and, about. And it's different levels. You know right? what I mean? Because some of it's just other people's business that people don't need to know. Correct. Necessarily. That is true. You know? And, and, and it's, it's levels to it, right? Uh, obviously, if someone has an outside child, right? Versus that's criminal stuff, right? people being abused and molested and all these kind of things. And then the child come out of that or what have you, you know what I mean? So, so the man that got a child outside of his wife or the wife that got a child that ain't her husband, you know what I mean? That's challenging enough, but it's those other really nefarious things that could be super challenging, right? And, and how do you protect that person? Or, and sometimes you try to protect the wrong people. Anyway, it's, it's, it's. What other family secrets bubble up that we talking about though? The sexual abuse. So, we talked about so and so the molester. Uh, yeah. Huh? So and so is the molester. Yeah, the sexual abuse. Yeah. Drug yeah. abuse. Yeah. This one still. The the, the most I, I, I the think, most common thing I think about is maybe old school now is somebody coming back down south to have that baby. You know what I mean? Being they being sent back home to have a baby, and a lot of times that baby's raised as a, you know, a sister or brother when it's actually a niece or nephew. Stuff like, oh, like some of them Tyler Perry movies. The, the other, bottom other line, movies. man, is, yeah. is you just can't, you can't, you should, you should draw your <clears throat> confidence and who you are and what you are based on what you do. And, and never draw it based on my mama, my daddy, my uncle, my aunt, my grandparents or anything like that. See when you when you when you pulling on all these other people, that's because you shaky. But if you strong in your convictions in terms of who you are and what you are, I don't care what they tell. But that is your foundation, though. And that's who but you that's start not, with. But your, that's with your, not. With but that's. Family. But it's not me. It's, it's my easy foundation, to say that, but it's not me. It's easy to say that at this age. But could well, you that's say why that we at having 17? this conversation because we want to teach people how not to continue to carry the burdens of the secrets. You don't have to carry the burden of the secret. You don't have to carry it. I'm, not, I'm just not gonna carry it. Right. Nah, me either. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not. And part of the reason it's a secret, cause people was doing wrong. Mm. That's a shame. Somebody was doing wrong. See, that's 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 the real reason right. it's a or secret. Something wrong. Somebody was doing something Happen wrong. Something, something somebody done got it. Y'all done hit that button. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, somebody <laughs> was doing something yeah. they ain't had no business doing. And and we can't deal with a problem unless we're willing to tell the truth about a problem. Let's talk, yeah. So we can't deal with it. That's why 
when you go to Alcoholics Anonymous, the first thing they make you stand up and say, my name is Waukee, I am an alcoholic. If I can't tell the truth about this, ain't there ain't no way they're going to be able to help me. All every step after that is irrelevant. So the same thing that go on in families, we got to acknowledge it or else it's going to repeat itself and happen again and again and over and over and over. We got to acknowledge this stuff, man. We can't keep sweeping stuff under the rug. It ain't going and, and, nowhere. And John, it's still there. What, what John Rock Rock Kid, that was, man, that was that was it. That's that's the home run. I see what you're getting at, and we going I want to talk about because what you're getting at is beyond that's not a reflection of you, that individual comes out of a clan. <coughs> right. People. Right, right. For sure. They come out of a shield, if you will. Mm. That that all of everyone wants to uphold and say, this our shield, this what our family represents. You would like for that to be everybody coming out of that shield representing the highest ideals of the family. But the truth, back to the truth is, that just ain't going to happen on nobody's shield. And it's not a reflection right. against your bloodline. And even if it is, your real bloodline go back to God. So you Correct. should, just, it is what it is at the time. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. We create these ideas about this doesn't look good. Who are we trying to please but the creator? The creator certainly know you ain't had nothing to do with it. Who else are we trying to please? Mm. The neighbor. Then that's the problem. Our own flesh. Then that's why you <laughs> tell a lie and keep a secret. People yeah. around. We yeah. gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop it because it is, that's how you continue to damage the family. You know, the initial thing happened. That happened, all right? Whatever. It, it could be, you know, think about, think about, um, it, it, it could be anything. Somebody that killed somebody, somebody that went and shot up the school or whatever, and now that family is, is carrying that. Um, but every time you lie about a thing, you re-inflict the damage. Right, mm. that's right, right, right. You continuing to inflict the damage of the original lie, the original sin, the original wrongdoing, you're continuing to re-inflict that. Right. And every time you do it, you participating in the damage. Mm. So you're an enabler. Exactly. So if something going on, don't don't ask me. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> you gonna tell the truth. Yeah, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you the truth with a level of compassion and, and, and my understanding that I think is according to your level of understanding where you can receive it. Hey, I ain't hold, got no hold, problem I, I like telling that. It. Why is that important? Um, because, because, because I'm not gonna carry the damage. No, and why is it important for you to, to tell them the truth in the way they at your level of understanding based on their level of understanding. Oh yeah, because you can't you can't okay. overwhelm somebody with, with some information. That's important, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gotta be. I got you know, if you if you it's just like a baby, man. If we eating gerba baby food, I can't give you a full steak. Yeah. I gotta yeah. Gi I gotta give you a little gerba baby right. food. Doses, I right. gotta give it to you in, 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 in that, that uh, yeah, in that quantity. So it's the same thing with information. <laughs> That's so funny. I was talking to one of my mentees or whatever. And he was like, man, you done said this a hundred times, but I finally get it. Wow. He said, you done said it a hundred times, but I finally get it. And I said, yeah, man, that's, that's, it's one of those things where, um, I was, I just used a, a radio as an, as an analogy. Say, what, do you remember what it was? You know, um, oh, did he, what was it? yeah, I do, but I don't, I can't share it. Uh -oh, okay. Um, but I was like, man, you know, as as the individual, you just see yourself as a radio and you was tuned in to 97.5. But the message I was given was an AM 1070 station. Not until you were able to tune in to AM 1070 were you able to hear and receive the message I was given. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that you was wrong. You was just tuned in on 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 another frequency, another current. On your season, yeah. yeah, exactly. And so, as you matured and grew, now you could receive this information mm -hmm. that 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 I was giving you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's so, real. so, so that's why you you give it to them at, in a in a manner in which they can receive it, right? Because 
If you don't, you can give it, you can put it out there, but hey, it's boom. Going God, God, head. God do us like that as well. You know, Say it again, bro. God do us like that yeah. as well because he, he, you know, you act like you can handle it all, but he will give it to you in the same small doses. Well, he'll try you. He'll yeah, you yeah. yeah. And, and you getting them he'll small you doses. You can. Well. Men think <laughs> they will be left alone saying they believe but will not be tried. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, well, what's that what's that quote, man? You talked about a public life, a personal was it public, personal, and secret? Oh, when I, I was talking about uh <laughs> yeah, I said uh I said I said people, you know, most people have three lives. Oh yeah. You know, you have your public life, which when you walk out, everybody know who you are, what you do, and all that stuff. And then there's a private you that people know, all right? People in your family, people maybe at your job, you know, um, people in the house might know, you know, you as a different individual. And then there's a secret you. <laughs> and, and we all public have a secret you, us. Secret you. There's a secret part of me that don't nobody know but me Oh y'all. <laughs> yeah. That's how close we are. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. You know? Yeah. And, and, and so I think everybody operates in that realm all the time. You know, and so it doesn't matter. You know, like it, it's, it's crazy. Like we see all this stuff with like P. Diddy now and all his information coming out and, and what they're revealing is a private slash secret part of his life that the public part of us did not was right, not aware right, of. Right, right, right. right, right. But you there's know, some in his, those close circles that do. Yeah, but yeah, there were yeah, people yeah. in those circles that were very much aware of his private and more in depth, his secret life. Yeah. If all of this stuff is true that they're yeah. saying about him. You know, and but I say that to say that's why you don't really need to carry no shame with any of this stuff because everybody has all three layers of that in their life. Everyone does. Right. Everyone does. But, every, but now, everybody now the degree don't, but of don't it, nobody want theirs out. Correct. Nobody want theirs out. Now, the question <laughs> is, is the secret, you know, uh, you know, I got a family cross town or is the secret I got a million dollars in the, in the Cayman Islands? Right. You know, right. and in a Swiss bank account. I was going to ask you when you said that, it's almost I was saying, did I ask a question like that's really not even a good question in light of the point you make? Right. Because if we all have a secret self, then to say we shouldn't tell secrets is kind of counterintuitive to that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Say it again. If we all have a secret self. Yes. It stands to reason that we're going to keep a lot of secrets. That is true. We were a whole episode. We talking about <laughs> why we should avoid secrets and when. So maybe the whole message is: since you have a secret self, and you know this, then you need to be very careful in managing that self of yours. That's absolutely correct. Because and back to your point, you said, "Well, to keep secret, we really doing wrong. How do we become one one entity?" Man, we why do we why are we separated in the third like the Trinity? Because man, we we hadn't reached that highest level of God that we're trying that's to get the, to. That's the that's, that's the transfiguration of Christ. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get to. Mm -hmm. But we we ain't got there yeah, yet, you know. Yeah. And when you have when when you have a secret component to your life, that is what makes you vulnerable. Yeah, because you know if you're a CIA operative and somebody trying to get you to, to turn you as a, you know, yeah. and make you a, a double agent or whatever. The way they able to do that is because they know something secretive about you. Well, listen, you was wrong when you said everybody, and listen, let me tell you how I always been saying this, man. You know, they say with God, you know, you're going to tell you, but you in the book of good and evil and all this, right? Uh-huh. I said, man, all this time we've been sitting here wondering, Man, God, got, that's a big book and all that. And all he got to do is call T-Mobile and Verizon and all the cable companies <laughs> and ask for your search history. <laughs> and he know everybody's secret self. <laughs> you silly. Hey. My point is, yeah, now yeah. everybody's secret self on the internet. Yeah. So it, it is people that know your secret self. That's right. To your point, 
The government know your secret self. Yeah. The algorithm yeah. know your secret hey, self. Hey, how many people ask y'all about this podcast and say y'all ain't keeping it real enough? We know we we was with you twenty years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, ain't, you ain't keeping it real. I, I, I ain't had folks. those experiences, but they probably come. Yeah, that is true, man. And 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 it kind of go back to what I was saying before. You know, we stand up here and we talk about we the conversations we have now is with our fifty year old minds, right? But there are people who watch this that know our eighteen year old minds, right? right. And so they're waiting and wanting us to reveal a historical part of ourselves that that exists, but no longer play a part in our lives. What and like what we detailed do. stories? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or maybe even, a, but that's a, how you get famous on a podcast f- now is telling stories to glorify your sickness when you're you were sick. That's true. In many cases, I know, man. I, I said this to somebody not too long ago. I'm like, man, we doing this podcast, man, and I, sometimes I feel like we a conscious rapper trying to make it in hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. man, we need to get up here and talk about. When we was acting foolish. Hey, look, when man. When we was acting simple let me tell you something. and yeah. ignorant. Yeah, and, and just let me say to us, you tease John about Charleston White being his pastor. You know, we <laughs> laugh about that. But nobody has made that statement more clear of how sick our people are than Charleston White. Because he was out there doing the community service, activism, oh, yeah. nonprofits, raising money, all, all this stuff, trying to help kids. He like, man, ain't nobody listening to me. Let me go on social media and talk stupid. And then <laughs> take that money and help people on the back end. Like, that's what he's doing. <clears throat> but he's talking crazy on, on TikTok oh. and Twitter and, and, and Instagram and YouTube. But that's what, that's that's the unfortunate part of how our community is decaying into a lower part of ourselves. And, 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 and that's them meeting them where they are, right? That That's an example of what you talked about earlier. Communicating and, and, and in a way man, where you can listen, understand. Listen, I, I do got to say this, man, because Charleston White is funny and he's sharp in some ways, right? And and in some ways, he's ridiculous, right? Yeah. And, 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 but if you but, listen but, long but, enough, he would tell you he's being intentionally no, ridiculous. No, I know, but, but I'm not going to give him so much, like... It's not so much just about him trying to go this right, pure way and do the thing. Because some of his views, even when he was doing that, you wouldn't necessarily agree with, right? But he was he was talking about stuff, like a Candace Owens or whoever, right? Yeah. All right, but um, it's not just about him dirtying up and, and us wanting to hear bull crap. It's about the grand scheme of things was who sets the stage for him to bubble up and what conditions were set for our people to be fed this ratchet in now that we need to have it all the time. I mean, that was systematic destruction yeah. of our community that now makes it so that Charleston White, Dr. Umar, uh, Kevin Samuels, RIP, all of these people that are on the fringe that will be considered extremists, rather right, left, center, or whatever, become the norm, right? Because we're so ratchet. Now, our consumption for filth <laughs> is so ratchet and available yeah. right. and justified that we would challenge anybody, anybody that uh, Charles and White and them have more credibility <laughs> than Jesse Jackson and them had when we was in high school among young people. Wow. But do, yeah, do, do more people Charles know Charleston White, than Dr. Cornel Uma, West? I'm at, Wallow and Gilly. Wallow, Gilly. Uh, Michael Moe Eric influence. Dyson. We looked up to Michael Eric Dyson when we woke up. Cornel West. Dr. West. West yeah. All of these young scholars. Nathan McCall. Right. The young brothers. Doc, they looking up to Dr. Umar, Charleston White, Kevin Samuel. These media, Willie and, and God, Gilly and Wallow do a great job. But I'm just saying, they're not research scholars that are bringing the balance of objective information to really help and grow. But they do way more than I do. Let me say that. Because right. they give millions of dollars away. I'm not tripping, but I'm just right. talking about the difference in where our leadership came from. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, it's a... Uh, and, our, and our young women following IG models and right. Kim K and all of that stuff, man. We just... Certain rappers... Yeah, yeah. We're talking rappers. about secrets, folks. 
It ended up going on a long journey, but y'all been journey with us as we try to reclaim the village and bring discussions to you that black men and families need to talk about That's right. and have, man. We need to grow. We need to evolve. It's the B2M crew. Check us out. We got the online store, B2M crew, coming online for you all with the merch. Uh, when production shooting us out of Atlanta, Georgia. We in season two, and we killing it this year. We need your support, so like, subscribe, share. Joaquin, you got something Don't to take us out with? Nah. And on hers that a great Frederick Douglass, it is easier to raise strong children than to repair broken men. Good night. Yeah. And I won't stop until I'm winning, 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 winning. I'ma show them how true and independent get it. Old game changed by the time I finish with it. We about to get this business handled in a minute. And I won't stop until I'm winning, 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 winning. They don't want me in the office. Cause I